Good afternoon, D&D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm going to be using these teal speckled dice that were given to me by a viewer at one of my recent live appearances. Thanks. Let's get things started with our roll for bread. Six, sourdough. Always happy to roll sourdough bread. And I think I'll use our toast bread cantrip today. Make sure we have a solid base for our sandwich. And there we go. Next up, let's roll for our main. Four leftovers. And the leftovers I have for today are steamed pork dumplings, specifically my child's lunch that they didn't finish. I rewarmed up the dumplings, but not too much because I don't want to burn myself biting into the sandwich. Obviously, these microwave dumplings pale in comparison to the actual thing, but in a pinch, they're still pretty tasty. Next up, let's roll for our cheese. Three cheese curds. During my recent visit to Wisconsin, I picked up some fresh cheese curds. Structurally, these may be a little difficult to put on the sandwich, especially because the sandwich currently consists of four dumplings on a piece of bread. So I'm going to cut them up a little smaller and kind of fit them in here however I can. There we go. Moving on to the roughage roll. That's five lettuce and seven dates. The lettuce I have today is romaine lettuce. It's not going to alter things a ton flavor-wise, but maybe it'll help structurally. Last time that I got dates, I used two whole dates, and that was too many. This time, I'm just going to use one, and I'm going to essentially make it into a paste. We're going to spread that on our bread as best we can. And I think that this will be a more enjoyable end result. I think that that should work. Let's move on to the wild magic. Here we go. Let's see what we get. 14, St. Elmo seasoning. This is a pretty good steak type seasoning from St. Elmo's Steakhouse in Indianapolis. It's a good general blend of seasonings. Shouldn't add too much chaos. And last but not least is the D20 sauce roll. Here we go. Six, sour cherry spread. This is a jam made from sour cherries, often eaten as an accompaniment for cheese. It's nice and sour with some large chunks of cherry inside and pairing it with the sweet dates, I think will balance it out. It's an interesting couple of rolls that ended up kind of balancing out, I think. I guess we'll find out. Let's get it closed up, get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Looks all right. One of my favorite things about this show is that the sandwich is always different and today is no exception. Let's see how it tastes. Uh, this is like stupidly good. The pork dumplings are rich and salty, which is contrasted really great by the sour sauce and the sweet dates, which makes it just kind of a sweet and sour sauce. The cheese curds get the job done, but if I was making this on purpose, I probably would have picked a different cheese that could have been more evenly distributed. But honestly, this sandwich was very enjoyable. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 9.5, and I'm gonna call it Dim Sum Paradise. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you again on Wednesday.